Hi everybody. Okay, look at these colors, right? I know they are Prima's new color bloom sprays and they're super beautiful. Summer Sky, Peony, Gold Foil, Gilded, what's this one? Lime Wedge. These are only a few of the different of the colors that they came out with. They have bold, they have subtle, they have a uh, sparkle, you name it. They have it and I'm excited. The pump that they gave us with these it's super cool. I, I don't know if you guys have seen some of the other videos out there, but it's all about this right here. This design of the spray bottle, you can do a fine, a very fine mist. You can do a stream or you can do a dribble. So yeah, it's just a little bit of, um, it's the release. If you do a fast pump, then it's a nice fast, you know, spray. Um, and it's a nice, it comes out nice fine mist. If you do a really slow one, then it's the dribble effect. You know, like when you get the paintbrush and you, you know, you flick your, um, your spray dots all over the place. Super easy, very versatile, I'm excited. And of course, oh my goodness, you can refill these. So I think you can do a two or three times of refills on these, so bonus, right? Okay, so I'm gonna show you a fun little project that I created. I got this fun little zipper, canvas bag. These can be found anywhere. They're at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, a lot of craft stores are carrying these now. They're just simple little canvas bags. So super fun to play with. And I thought, oh my goodness, when to be fun to spray on this. Just make it more beautiful, add some flowers and um, fill it with a whole bunch of fun embellishments and give it away um, to a little scrappy gal pal or whatever, you know, or keep it and make it, turn it into your paint bag or, or your paintbrush, pens, markers, whatever it is. Um, anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and let music run while I show you um, what I did to this super cute little bag. So here's where we're at so far. This is the front of the canvas bag and I've laid the template down right here, the one I showed you earlier, and this is actually an image of a guitar. So this is the body of the guitar and it tapers up right here to the arm. But I loved the imagery right here, the scrolling work and the light subtle lines and I thought it was just really pretty. I'm not worried, this was a little mistake right here, but I thought no, no problem. It's it adds to the interest, right? And then I also added some of the scroll work down here. I just turned the image around and I sprayed the gold foil here and the gold foil here. And then also I did a little bit of the lime wedge spray right here. So it's like a two-tone kind of image and it's just really pretty. And then I added the word beautiful down here. But I thought, oh my goodness, I really wanna show you more of what the colors look like and what better way than to show you the colors but on flowers, right? Ooh, I almost had a power outage, you guys see that? Okay, so I grabbed some of the white Prima flowers. We all have white flowers on our stash. Pull those out, um, spray them up so you can have an idea of what they look like. So here's the Lime Wedge. This is the Summer Sky, this is a Peony, this is the Gold Foil. On these right here, I wanted to give you an idea of if you saturate your flowers, you're gonna get a deep, bold color. This one has a lot of gold sheen, super beautiful. I've also, on the bottom row right here, I've sprayed some of the wooden icons, the wooden pieces from Prima. Grab those, they're, they have so many different types. They go with all the different collections, so they're fun to play with. Here's one of the um, key locks that are, is just really pretty. Let me put it up here. But look, I just wanted to show you the different the different hues. 
Okay, so this again was a lime wedge. Beautiful. This one right here is a summer sky. Here's what the flower looks like with this. It's pretty saturated on there. I dried it and then I got one of the wooden embellishments and I sprayed this one, but I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. So I dabbed some of the paint off and then I did a nice stamp on it and then I flipped it over and I put some of the gold foil down on there and I actually used the wood piece and I used it as a stamp on top of the flower. I don't know if you can see it, but you'll see the gold image of this right here. And it's so pretty. Um, and then also the gold came up through the wood just along the edges, which really makes this piece look unique and, and just stunning. It's it's just adds another little bit of interest to it. It's it's really pretty. I don't you can't see it on the camera, but it, it's really gorgeous. On this one right here, I actually used both the peony and the gold foil. I sprayed the gold foil down first, and then just along the edges, on the outside edges, I didn't even get on the flower. Literally, I went around the flower just so some of the mist would hit the edges of the flower, and it's just really pretty, but it gives it a totally different look. You can see it. This is just the gold foil, and then this is the gold foil with the peony on top of it. And I did the same thing right here. So there's actually, the pink is up here, the peony, and there's a gradation to the gold that goes down on this. And it's just really pretty. This one is all just peony, and I just saturated this wooden icon so you can get a feel of the bold color of it. It's just gorgeous. And then this one right here, this is the wood icon too, and I saturated that. I love that it's almost turns into like a mustard color. So when you're spraying your color bloss, your color bloom sprays, play, get your um, all the different types of bases of your projects and it, you know, your canvas, your wood pieces, you know, when you have your gesso out and, and you're drying and you know, your flowers or your metal pieces, anything that you have out, go ahead and you know, don't worry about spraying on top of these things just play a little bit and you'll be surprised at the colors that you're getting the different textures you're getting and you're adding a lot of different interest uh, to your projects so i'm going to go ahead and finish up this project i'm going to actually i punch a little hole right here i'm going to add an eyelet here and then have some of the little pieces that i've made um, dangle off yeah don't forget to also spray your ribbons and you know just play Alrighty, so let me finish this and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so here's the finished project. Isn't it cute? It's a little zipper pouch and I love it. I actually added a Prima flower right here. These are some canvas flowers that I had in my stash that really matched. And I took a little bit of the gold and dabbed just a little bit to color the inside of these. Look at the detail on here. I didn't really spend a lot of time being too fuzzy. I just wanted to incorporate that same flower, right, uh, that same color right in here. Um, and it kind of matched that mistake right there, those little dots right there. Anyways, and then on the eyelet that I put in, I added a ring and I added one of the flowers that I stamped and sprayed it with the gold. And then a little metal piece right here that I sprayed with the gold and added, dangled that from there. And here's some of the ribbon that I sprayed. And anyways, I just played and I thought it turned out really super cute. Isn't that pretty? I love it. It's, it. This is a little wooden piece. And on the back, I also sprayed the same gold color and then wiped it off just so it all incorporates together, right? So it, so it goes well together. Um, and then on the inside, I'm just going to add a little pouch with the leftover flowers that I played with and some of the other wood pieces that I inked up and even one of the resins there that I added the gold to. I thought that's super cute. I'm going to put this in here. Okay, and that's it. I hope you liked the project. It was fun to make, simple and easy quick for me. So I love that. Really pretty, right? Here's the back. Crazy easy simple. I just added some of the peony and some splatter and just left it plain. The focus is the front. So yay. Alrighty everybody, hope you're having a happy scrappy time out there. If you have any questions, send emails, go to Facebook, the Prima Facebook page, my page, or you know, whatever. 